we're exploring Krankenstein's mansion and reburying our buried treasure. That's right, it's Animal Adventures from Steamforged Games. <laughs> In this adorable introduction to role-playing games, most players will take on the role of animal adventurers, heroic dogs and cats blessed with the power of speech. Each hero has their own set of special abilities and characteristics to help them stand out in the game. One special player takes on the role of Game Master and does not play an animal adventurer. Instead, they take responsibility for describing the world and situations the players may encounter throughout the game. As the Game Master, or GM, narrates the game, players interact with their environment and with non-player characters played by the GM using skills, rolling dice, and embarking on quests. Setup begins with character selection. We're using the Animal Adventure Starter Set today, so we'll use the starting heroes provided in the box. For future games, advanced heroes and their character sheets are available on Steamforged.com. A hero's character sheet includes a lot of information, but it's all pretty easy to understand. Each sheet has a hero name and class, a sweet pick of them looking tough or cheerful, a character quote about themselves to help the player get into their role, hit point tracker, hit points are the amount of damage they can take before they're removed from a fight. They can't help out in combat until they're healed. After a combat ends, heroes are returned to full hit points. Armor class, labeled AC, initiative, and speed, as well as attack options. These all apply to combat. I'll explain them shortly. A starting equipment list and six core attributes. Strength, which measures how physically powerful a hero is, how much they can carry, or how hard they bite. Dexterity, how agile or nimble that hero is. Constitution, which measures a hero's health and toughness. Intelligence, which measures their reasoning and memory. Wisdom, which measures how quickly they notice things and their sense of judgment. And charisma, how charming and likable they are. Each of the six attributes have a value and a modifier. The modifier is the bonus or penalty added to a roll whenever the GM asks the player to roll for an attribute. The modifiers also apply to some attacks and skills, but they've been calculated for you already on the starting hero character sheets. This includes a hidden plus two bonus for certain skills for each hero, reflecting how great they are at various tasks. The back of the starting character sheets also include special information for the hero's class, spells in the case of magic users, and abilities for others. Gameplay occurs in two modes, out of combat and in combat. While out of combat, the GM narrates the setting and the players describe how they explore their environment, explaining how their heroes navigate around the world and the choices for interactions with other characters. If the players attempt to try certain tasks, the GM can ask for a check, which requires the player to roll the 20-sided die, a d20, adding the relevant attribute modifier to the result. If they can achieve a certain number, they'll succeed on the task. The number required depends on the difficulty class, known as the DC, as determined by the Game Master. The ranges for difficulty include very easy all the way to nearly impossible. For example, if a hero wants to swim across a shallow pond, the GM might say that task is easy and only requires a roll of 10 or more. But swimming across a raging river during a lightning storm would be very hard, requiring a roll of at least 25. Sometimes the GM will award advantage, which reflects the fortunate circumstances a hero might find themselves in. Maybe the hero is using a floating log to help guide themselves across the river. With advantage, the player would roll two d20s, taking the result of the higher roll. Additionally, a GM might impose disadvantage, which is similar but reflects an unfortunate situation. There's a strong undercurrent in the river, and the player must choose the lower result in that case. If the heroes find themselves in confrontation against strong opposition, this might result in combat. When combat occurs, the free-flowing conversation of out-of-combat play stops. 
Gameplay now occurs in rounds. Each round is about six seconds of game time. Each participant in the combat, both heroes and other non-player characters, take turns before a new round of combat begins. The order of turns is determined by an initiative roll. Each participant rolls a d20 and adds their initiative modifier to the result. The total is their initiative score for the rest of the combat encounter. Turns occur in initiative order, starting with the participant who got the highest result. On their turn, a participant may take up to two actions in any order they like. They can only take one type of action once per round. Actions include move, a character can move up to their speed value in any direction. Combat usually takes place on the map, which is divided into squares. Characters can move that many squares using this action. Cast a spell. Referring to the backside of their character sheet, the magic using hero or a monster can cast a spell like Mage Bolt or Darkness, applying the effects listed in the spell description. Dash. This allows the character to move a second time in a single turn, applying their speed value once again, moving that many squares on the map. Attack! This is the big one. The attacking character chooses either melee, which means close-up fighting, or ranged at a distance. Using the attack option listed on the character sheet, the player first rolls a d20 to attempt to hit their target. They add the hit modifier to the result on the die. If that number equals or is higher than the target's AC, the attack hits. In that case, the player may then roll damage dice as listed in the attack. The result is the number of hit points the target loses from that attack. If anyone is reduced to zero hit points, they're out of the fight and cannot make attacks until the combat ends or until they are healed. At the end of combat, all player characters are returned to full health. The GM may also allow all sorts of other actions in a turn, including leaping over tables, chasing mail wagons, or even stealing a diamond-encrusted bone from a lich. For the Game Master's eyes only, the rulebook of the starter set contains an introductory adventure called The Curse of Dr. Krankenstein. Starting on page 12 of the rules, the GM learns how to prepare the adventure, what major plot points might occur, and all the stats and layouts for all the characters and locations the players may explore during the game. And that's the basics of animal adventures. I'm Becca Scott, this is Good Time Society, and you would make a great dog wizard. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come on back for more great games and good times. See you later.